Good morning, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we are up and at it early this morning. We're gonna go uh, fishing on the on the river right here in town and uh, see if we can catch some fish. So come on. spot number three I wasn't uh, completely sold on that spot so we're just gonna keep moving down the river and see if we can't find something this morning it's a nice morning out not too cold not too hot well we are pretty much striking out this morning um, I really don't know what the deal is they don't really seem to be moving or had a few good bites but nothing nothing hanging on so we're just gonna keep punching in until uh, we got to go to Gork all right, well, we struck out this morning. Um, I fished about half of the river. It's kind of it's kind of strange on this side. Um, there's not a whole lot of cover, so it's kind of hard to catch bass on this side. I have caught quite a few in this river before, but uh, this morning we struck out, so no big deal. We'll be back at it next time. So many ducks here. I don't understand it. I've never been to a river where there's so many ducks. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we just got done with a speaking engagement that uh, Maddie had, and we're just now getting to the barn. Need to pick blue stall a little bit, and uh, it's a little bit, a little bit dark. So hopefully you can see me. All right. So just a quick little tidbit here, um, something that I don't do uh, a good job of, as I should probably, is cleaning blue stall on a daily basis. Look, if you have a horse, um, if you clean their stalls more often, the shavings last longer and it looks better, smells better, um, all around just more hygienic. So that's something that I've definitely got to get better on. Um, just taking a few minutes, it really doesn't take but five minutes, ten minutes tops to uh, clean a stall every day. So as you can see, it's not 100% clean, but it's way cleaner than it was. And I'm telling you right now, if you just take five minutes, uh, you're going to save yourself a lot of time and a lot of money down the road with shaving because shavings aren't cheap. And uh, if anybody will tell you that knows me really well, um, if I can save a buck, I definitely will. So some people have uh, problems catching their horses and uh, around here it's not really an issue if you've got a real hungry horse like mine. Oh, you're not out. Come on. <laughs> He's a toad. <laughs> Good night, Blue and Sully. 
All right, so tonight we're gonna do something a little bit different. Um, I don't really do like birthdays for dogs really or anything like that, except for one tradition that uh, my buddy Richard got me on to. So Richard, if you see this, this is uh, dude, this is because you started it. So uh, we are on our way to Whataburger. What can I get for you? I just need a number one, plain and dry. Now the real question is, do you want to add cheese? Sure. All right. That's it. Thank you. You too. <laughs> Damn, we got the good. Yeah, it's my birthday. Sit down. Sit down. Dude, you are the nastiest eater <laughs> of all time. One more. All gone. Good boy. Happy birthday. 